One of the most commonly known facts about Catholic priests is that they have to live a life of celibacy, being forbidden to marry and having children. But where does this rule come from? From the Bible, surely? Well, not quite. In fact, in the earliest years of the church, clergy were largely married men. We even have some evidence of this in the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 5, for example, states that apostles, like other Christians, have a right to be, and many of them are, married. Therefore, the law of celibacy does not come from scripture directly. From the 4th century AD onwards, this began to change. Church decrees drafted at gatherings such as the Synod of Elvira in 305 or the Council of Carthage in 390 demanded that married priests abstain from sexual contact with their wives and decreed it preferable to only accept unmarried men into the clergy. While initially only a recommendation and not enforced by church law, celibacy became more and more mandatory in the Catholic Church throughout the early Middle Ages and continues to be the status quo today. But why did the church introduce it at all? Well, there are several reasons. The first is spiritual. Celibacy serves as a means for priests to abstain from earthly pleasures to maintain a closer relationship with the scriptures and God. But there's also a practical reason. As the Catholic Church continued to amass more and more wealth and lands, celibacy meant that priests could not form families and dynasties to pass church possessions down to. Now as always, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe and become a channel member to enjoy exclusive benefits.